My name is Huria and I am studying at Harriet Watt University and my project is called the Geode Wall. The reason it's called the Geode Wall is because it was inspired by the rock Geode Rock. And the Geode Rock is basically a hollow rock it is, and it is lined with crystals. So basically the wall behind the panels uh, would be the outer shell of the rock and the panels, the material panels that will be displayed on the wall uh, are representing the crystals that are lined on the wall. So that was the basic idea and the concept behind the whole geode wall. Uh, the most challenging part was uh, coming up with the concept itself. Even though I had an initial idea of what I would do, I was still researching and uh, I, I struggled a bit to make my mind up about one final concept. But yeah, uh, eventually I got it. The, actually, the whole process, it was very enjoyable, uh, but I think the best part has to be when I got shortlisted the first time. Then honestly, it just came to me as a surprise, so that was the best part. And yeah, the mentorship and everything, meeting with top designers and all of that, that was amazing. Like uh, The mentorship program was really good. It, was, um, it helped me a lot. Uh, speaking to uh, my mentor was Kevin from um, Nomad Design and uh, he helped me a lot and he helped me develop my design into something more realistic and much more beautiful. Um, I, what I learned was design development actually. So initially my work was mostly, I used to stick to one idea initially and not develop it well enough. So the end product wouldn't be as good. But this time I really got to develop my design each and every detail. I flipped it so many times and I was really proud of the end product. Hello, my name is Zarsha. I'm a fourth year interior design student at Tariot Watt University. So the concept approach of my project was to design a, a, mar a modern futuristic space for Colab. The inspiration was I got inspired by the existing Colab logo, which incorporates several geometrical shapes such as circle, triangles. Futuristic designs are mainly known for their strong chromatism, uh, symmetry, you know, they're, they're, they use dynamic bold lines, interactive floors, and the existing Colab logo itself incorporates the shapes that are very prominent and they're very, they're very similar to what a futuristic design is. So the main inspiration was from the logo. I dissected the logo, breaking it into several different shapes, and that's what inspired me to continue with the kind of approach that I was going for. So the most challenging part of the competition was time management. As I'm a university student, m managing time in terms of um, working with a university project and the collab competition itself is tough. Yet, I believe I managed to balance and give both the, um, both the projects equal amount of time at the end. Uh, so one thing that I enjoyed the most during the entire process was the material selection. So we were offered to use materials from 10 different material suppliers. And every material, every product itself is, is unique in its way. So I had, what I enjoyed the most was researching about the materials in general, you know, knowing about their properties, the textures, the colors, and experimenting, designing, using, experimenting, you know, designing different materials in different spaces here. Uh, the mentorship program was a dream come true. Getting an opportunity to get mentored by We Are Bishop Design in itself is huge. It's a huge achievement and I've learned a lot during the process of the mentorship. One thing that I learned from the mentorship and from the design competition itself is to believe in myself. So, you know, to believe that I am able, I'm capable of designing a space in reality rather than designing a project in the university. So this is very, it's very realistic. So I believe that, and I'm, I'm someone who, you know, gives their 100%, no matter whatever task is given to me. So one thing I learned is to believe in myself. So the competition kind of made me realize that I am good enough to get shortlisted. And I continue to take part in more competitions after this. My name is Farah Hazem. I am interior design from Harriet Watt University. My project was to design wall um, 
So I get inspired from the collab logo itself and uh, from the honeycomb, and I took the hexagon shape from the from the collab logo itself, and. Uh, uh, on this wall, I, we designed it in final. It, it was uh, there is a mood board, so I got inspired from this uh, mood board. So I said, why I don't uh, you, uh, use the same idea from the mood board? So the, each customer they can uh, play around with the material. They can choose the right material in the end, and then they can see it from the far. So uh, so they can get the right decision in the end. So my de uh, and also I uh, I put in my concept uh, I want the all um, different type of material. So each material I feel it's uh, unique. So why I want to hide it? I I I thought if we we put it in the wall and we so, um, like it is beautiful. Why we need to hide it? So I designed to be in this. I designed the wall to be in this way. So each material, it can be hung and, uh, and uh, the customer, they can see it. They can uh, make a match, mix and match with the material. And uh, that's it. The most difficult part in the competition, uh, the de uh, development, development part, because I felt, you know, in the f first time, I felt, you know, I designed it, it's nice, but, and then, uh, I want to challenge myself to make it better and more practical and more beautiful and more you can uh, rea realistic. I mentor with the uh, Chris from uh, from Broadway. It was a great uh, opportunity. He, he, I learned from him a lot, and he gave me uh, a lot of support. Uh, I learned to be uh, more confident with my design. I believe in myself. Um, I felt uh, it is when you design, you should design uh, for real, real life, not design just for be beautiful. The, the, in the end, the design be beautiful. No, you should design to be uh, to think about how the design be, uh, become in the end, in the real life. <laughs>